Another flower that we see a lot on Guy Perry is this purplish blue flower that, that doesn't appear to have any leaves. It's just on a single stalk that stands up. Um, what, what is that? Those are the blue dicks. And in fact, they do have two or three leaves per, per blossom, but the, the leaves can even be uh, dyed back before you're looking at the flower. And the, it's a, a monocot, so the, the leaves are long and, and straight. And they have veins that are parallel. Right. That's a, exactly. a sign of a, a monocot. Right. And then the flowers show the monocot too. They're, they're in a, a tight umbel, uh, uh, 2 to 5, or 2 to 15, sorry, flowers, or florets per flower. And so they would then have, what, three or multiples of three petals per Actually, flower? they're called tepals, since the, the sepals and petals are similar. And um, all together they're looking the same. So it looks like six. So the blue dick has, has other names, right? Right. Uh, some people call it wild hyacinth, but it's not in the hyacinth family. Uh, others call it school bells. It, it's been called diclostema, and part of, I mean, it, it's common name, it's scientific name, is diclostema capitatum. And there's the idea that it's called blue dicks because it's diclostema. However, I le read recently that it was called blue dicks before it was called diclostema. So that's why school bells may be a, a good name to call it. What is the blooming season? When would you first see it, expect to see it out? And for how long would it bloom? It's a very long one. Um, you definitely see it in, in February and up through June, I would imagine. 